let's get into um yeah what do we got pot pot goes to the moon so this is the second one in the series and hopefully that audio is going to be okay no it's way too loud sorry sorry sorry, sorry. what's that little fart noise though factory. i bet this is going okay. to be a great day yeah it's looking pretty good and yes we have dog from the first game old pep stays with us Nah, no. Oh yeah, a little bit rainy over there. Oh, they're just having little... They're incontinent clouds. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. I better hurry over to the fireworks factory. No, we're having fun clicking on stuff. Oh, there's Ronnie. <laughs> Very skinny Ronnie. Mew, 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 mew. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> that's my gas gauge. That's my gas gauge. Mr. Firebird invites everyone to come down to take a tour of the Car Town Fireworks Factory today. Okay, so we're off to the Fireworks Factory. We have Pep. Would <laughs> you be using this for good if you can just click on a tree and create flowers and stuff? Oh, that's cool. He was talking as he was moving along. It says Fireworks Factory. <laughs> There's some faulty wiring in that thing, though. And yeah, this is this is what happens at a fireworks factory, you know. Whoa, that's terrifying. Okay. Oh, I think does Mario come out of this eventually? Oh no, it's Fatty Bear. Okay. Uh, anything else fun? No, just tooting. Oh, there's actual. Oh, it's different colors. I thought like just someone's having a massive fart and you know trying to open a window. They're just lots of fireworks in here. They must be doing pretty well for themselves. Um, yeah, what the hell is that thing? It's like a some sort of lizard. Anyway, let's go in. We're gonna see Mr. Firebird, I guess. He's gonna. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Already set up to um, go to the moon, I suppose. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Pot Pot. Would you like to help me make a sky rocket? You bet. I'll give you a hand, but be careful not to touch that lever. It's for my big secret experiment. Wow. Just show me what you want to do. Okay. Yeah, so what are we, what are we got going? Um. Okay, yeah, we put some stars in and everyone has the right terrifying car tentacles. Hey, you started before I had to work tonight. Righto, mate. How are you, Anchor? It's, yeah, we're on the normal time that we were on, because I slept in. It was like 9.30 when I woke up, and yeah, I wanted to have breakfast and shit before I started. Those hearts are sure pretty. The, um, I'm a little bit hooked. I got into, um, I haven't played it for ages, but I got Saints Row 2, and, um, there's like a mod that fixes it up for PC, like, gets rid of the frame rate limits and all sorts of good stuff. I've been playing a bit of that. And what do we Oh we're putting the cap on the flyway. Okay. I think it just randomizes, like based on what you put in the, the thing. Oh yeah, and we got Ronnie here too. Ronnie is also here. Finally. Big fatty boy. Um, yeah, give me some of these. I, I didn't even look at what the firework had. I was too busy looking at Ronnie. Yeah, we'll put some, um... I don't know if you guys have an equivalent in America. We have these little cheese, um... Snacks. Called twisties. Just like little crunchy things covered in cheese dust. That's what they look like to me. And just... Oh, I guess those are the explodey balls. <laughs> okay. Yep, chuck that rocket in. So what do, I, what do we get this time? Oh, it's just all... Oh, that wasn't actually that exciting. Okay. Oh, this is a bit of a bust, this uh, fireworks factory. Let's, um... I better not touch that. Oh, come on. You know you want to. You want to touch the, the big lever that says don't touch? No, I think this is how you do it. What You'll let the butterfly, butterfly in. It's 
speaking of food, I got a Hello Fresh box recently, and it came with some vouchers for free boxes for friends. Might you be interested in one? Um, yeah, might as well. Wouldn't mind that. I uh, I don't know if it'll transfer to like um don't know if it's valid in Australia, but if you want to send it to me, sure. I've heard good things about it. Like, it's for people who... Yeah, you want to eat something healthy, but you want ideas for recipes and stuff like that. Hmm. We certainly are. Look at this frigid boy. Jupiter, a whopping 778 million kilometers from the sun. Oh, we're getting some... Is. Oh. The planet Mars. <laughs> Before you go, let me tell you about Mars. You should get your ass to that. Alright, flat ourselves to the moon. Then screenshot of the code. I think it's good in all places where HelloFresh delivers. And yeah, fair enough. Cool. Can we even. Oh, that's. that's a little terrifying. Hmm. Okay. Cool, you can at least. yeah. Just click on stuff on your little trip to the moon, which should take, you know, two or three. Oh, it depends the, on the velocity of how fast um, Pot Pot left the atmosphere, I guess. That's Sputnik. What is that? It's like 200,000 Ks to the moon, I think. And, um, yeah, it's not going to be an instant trip. That's That's all I'm trying to say. It's like, oh shit, the door shut on me. Okay. Do you want to... Yeah, we... Oh, we can just head along. Alright. We were doing too, too much fun stuff in space. Hang on, Pep. We're going in for a moon landing. Mm-hmm. Maybe you want to get some reverse thrust going, Pup Pup? I've played Kerbal Space Program. If you don't get reverse thrust, you, um... You hit the ground like a fucking dart. Okay. Oh, cool little burnout on Pop Pop though. This game feels like an acid trip. Yeah, a lot of the humongous games have been a bit like that, haven't they? How will I ever, ever get home? Get home? What are you, Swedish now, Pop Pop? Okay. Yeah, just flap some birds. Oh, that's, that's also terrifying. Wow. Okay. Oh, that one's got a little jetpack. Oh, that's cool. There's someone farting in there as well. Ah, don't... Well, that's, that, that's terrifying. Why are there random birds in space? Why are there random, you know, telescopes, elephant trunks with, like, dinosaur spikes? Um, hot caramel? Hmm, good girl, Sunday. Is that a Dinoga from Star Wars? I got no idea. Oh yeah, there's all these little dudes too. I'm just so I can spam them over and over. Oh, oh maybe it is Star Wars. Someone's lifting that rock with the force. Okay. Right. Enough of that. Get away from the acid trip. Do you know the way back to Earth? No, we just got here. We're from Kansas. Maybe you could launch off that rock. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get advice from the tourists who've never been to the moon before. Sure. Oh. I guess I can't get home that way. Yeah, you're probably going to have to... If you, I don't think you're going to make it at uh, your top speed of 35 miles an hour, but... but. What kind of car... Is it, is it your Russian car? Like... I know 35 miles an hour isn't much. Like, 60 is 100 k's. Uh, yeah, 60 miles an hour is 100 k's an hour. Uh, converted. I don't know, it doesn't... <laughs> it still takes a while to get anywhere at 100 k's an hour. Oh, that's... that's a little trippy, isn't it? Wow, there is something... It's it got terrifying connotations as well, because it's like, what is living beneath the surface of the moon? That's um, some sort of eldritch horror. I did watch a little bit of, I, I watched Joel and Germa play um, Iron Lung. Um, some little 
tech demo horror thing from the guys who made uh, Dusk. Mm, it was pretty weird. cool. What's, what was weird? Oh, just... <laughs> Terrifying eldritch horrors and uh, sports basketball players. Yeah, right. -o. Oh, we can. No, I wanted to go through the cave. Hang on, go back through the cave. It's terrifying. Look like Oblina from Our Real Monsters. Oh God, I remember Oblina. Hmm. I'm positive I heard something that time. Oh, so there's yeah, something stalking him. What are you doing, Pep? You wanna play hide and feed? Was a fan of Oblina? I always liked Crumb. Okay, here Carry sweaty boy. It's basically what I turned into in my old age. Oh, we got a little maze. Okay. Um, no, we don't want to go that way. Go up here, Pop Pop. Oh, I must admit, yeah, it's cool to find these little um little side doodads. Can't all be adventure games. Oh, that was the other thing I was I heard about. Um, apparently, Ron Gilbert's doing a uh, Monkey Island sequel that's out this year. Um, so I'm kind of intrigued with that. I <laughs> found you. That was fun. Was it? I don't think it was. Come on, Pep. Yeah, I, I keep mentioning it, but like the pre 2000s humongous games, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, Thingo, um, Ron Gilbert worked on them, most of them previously. Mazes give me PTSD it's after getting jump scared caution. years ago. Oh yeah, I remember that with um, 3D Dinosaur Adventure. You'd sort of go through the maze and there was one thing that'd just go, Ah, I'm a Dilophosaurus! And that was freaking me out as a kid. Okay, it was stuck in goo. Can we get out of goo? Oh, I have I'm control again. Certainly. Pep, go and get help. No, go and get help, stupid dog. Maybe just... No. I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. Yeah, he's... <laughs> oh, no, that's... What the hell is that? Why are there... Why are there maybe lots of them? Yeah, maybe... Maybe I should call for help. Yeah, call for help. Um, oh, that's how we call for help. Oh yeah, Dianoga was the one in the um, the trash compactor in um, New Hope, wasn't it? Oh, that doesn't look structurally sound. Yeah, just let me fix this bridge while we're here. <laughs> oh, he's got a little welder? No, let's go. You're way cooler than Pop Pop. Can we control you? Who are you? The name's Rover, and I got quite a story to Rover. tell. Rover, okay. I was brought here from Earth by some astronauts, but when they went home, I was left behind. Oh, that's <laughs> Tia. That's cute. Yeah, T also welded rocks. This is true. Thanks, Welder. Welder is somehow strong enough to melt rocks. I wish there was something I could do. Listen, kid, there just might be. Now follow me. Yeah, a little bit of a sad story. Well, technically, he's outlived, um, if we were playing this now, he wow. has outlived, like, the Take astronauts that, um, that went there. Who's still alive out of him? I think... I know, but I'm pretty sure Buzz Aldrin's dead, and the third guy, maybe not Neil Armstrong? I can't remember. I wonder if it's for sale. It sure is. How much is it? Ten growing moon crystals. But the rocket's missing a few more. Take our blue flag. It will show you what you need. Thanks. The moon flag? This is this is your flag? Okay. It looks like I need to find the steering wheel, the nose cone, the key. The and that's how we get back. We have to build a rocket. Ten. Which makes sense, yeah. We can't exactly, you know, get super speed and launch off the ramp. I'll go help look for the missing parts. Bye. Like, yeah, like having played Kerbal Space Program, I realise how complicated, you know, space flight is. Oh, that that doesn't seem comfortable. Buzz Aldrin's still alive at 92. Okay, there you go. Moon crystals, so I can buy the rocket ship. Oh, I want some ice cream though. Rocket ice cream. How much for an ice cream? Oh, we can't do it. Yeah, this is, this seems... Considering the moon's like one-sixth of Earth's gravity, ice cream doesn't sound like a good idea. 
Da. <laughs> the moon version of Oscar the Grouch, I suppose. Grant. It's like, get out of here. Um, so where do we go? Uh, I guess we just go back from here. Astronaut ice cream. Oh, we get a like world map now. So where do we go? Moon City Gas. Um, a diner, and I guess some sort of like housing thing. Can we go anywhere else? Oh, we can go like out the scrub. Oh, let's cut scrub. You don't. You don't go to the moon to hang out with people. Oh, it's just back to the bridge. Okay. We'll leave the bridge alone for now then. Yeah, we'll see what it takes to get fuel, I suppose. Rocket fuel. That certainly is a. <laughs> oh, it's a note. It says if you need rocket fuel, you can find me at the Moon Bubble Apartment, the first floor, apartment A. Yours truly, Robbie Radar. Okay, so we gotta go to the apartments anyway, All right? First floor apartment A, I think he said. This is also another crazy, creepy mama jama. <laughs> let's, let's drown him in his hole. Good idea. Good thing from Putt Putt. Maybe not in our time, but someday the youngsters might be chilling on the moon. Yeah, you never know. It might eventually get over. Yeah, Elon Musk will own everything and we'll get, you know, commercial flights for, um, you know, cheap scrubs like us. One day. I mean, if Shatner can do it, so can we. That's what I'm thinking. I did laugh at that too, like, um, because, yeah, this will age the video, but yeah, Elon Musk bought um, Twitter recently, and he was joking that um, he wants to buy Coca-Cola so he can put the cocaine back in there. This is the year George Jetson is born. Okay. That's different. Huh. I didn't realize they had a canonical age for George Jetson. Um, oh, technically that might mean I could... Um, Find out when uh, Jane, his wife, was born, and uh, you know, have a crack, change, <laughs> change the future. <laughs> hey, Elroy, I'm your real dad. It um, says Moon City Hall. Yeah, okay. Can we get into here to get some keys? Look though? at those keys. <laughs> Go for I it. need a key to start the rocket ship. <laughs> well, hello, hello, hello. I'm Governor Moonbeam, and who do we have here? I'm Papa. Because I don't have any legs, my balls drag across the ground. <laughs> Anything I can help you with? How come you have so many keys hanging over there? <laughs> I give them out to good deed doers. Oh, I like doing good deeds. Stop back anytime. Thanks a lot. I would actually like uh, Rosie the Robot. <laughs> something some sort of robot to clean my house that'd be good so what did i actually miss what this guy said i was too busy making well, ball hello, dragon jokes hello hello anything i can help you with today may i have a key please you certainly may my friend after you do your good deed oh we gotta do a good deed Moonbeam. good luck <laughs> just i can't stop thinking about it yeah like you Hopefully don't have extraneous genitals because they'll get caught in the wheels. Um, I thought this was the apartments though. There is is this not oh, can we go up and forward to the apartments? No. That just goes back. Okay, so we gotta go find the apartments then. Um maybe go check out the diner for a little bit. So there's a fun little theory that the Flintstones and the Jetsons live in the same area, the town of Bedrock is beneath the clouds. Yeah, I have heard that one. As um, interesting sort of theory. It says the cosmic dust diner would probably explain like all the sentient animals that um, the Flintstones have got. They're just rejects from the gene splicing uh, experiments they did in um, the Jetsons world. Oh yeah, there was the other thing. Yeah, we still got to play some. Um, Still gotta do You Don't Know Jack TV shows, so we might have to do that to solve. Um, what? What is it? This is a weird diner. Can you I get some food? Like the rest of us, little fella. You must be new in town. My name's Putt Putt. I'm from We don't take kindly to your tap. Well, welcome. 
Welcome to Moon City. So, Punt Punt, would you like a soda pop? Yes, please. Oh, we get some soda pop, though. Enjoy. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> gluck, gluck, gluck. Oh, it changes your color for this one. Okay. Wow. We're now jalapeno red. Oh, we don't get to stay that way, though. Can I have a blue one? Soda pop, please. I guess we don't get to be canonically a different color this time around. We've got a three-day weekend coming up here on Monday. Maybe wow. you can squeeze in one of those days. Um, oh, maybe. It'd have to be Tuesday afternoon. No, Tuesday evening for me, and it might be a bit late for you. I'm not sure. I kind of have to check up on the um, the time zones. I could do something, though. I was watching the... Um... Oh, that works for you? Yeah, no, cool. All right. Yeah, we'll do something Tuesday night, then. Bear Storm and Fatty Bear's back for some plane action, I guess. Okay. Alright, so we went to... Oh, okay, we collect balloons, which gives us fuel. Oh, it's... Okay, so there's tiny little things of fuel in the balloons, maybe? Wouldn't really want to mix that with air or anything. It'd probably ignite. Okay. Level two of the Bear Snorman. And this is, I know this is a spoof of, um, was it Barnstorming? It was an old Atari game. It was like this, you sort of flew through barns. Oh no, that played a bit different. I have played that because it was like, um, worked on like a time limit or something. You had to get through the barns as quick as you could. There's no obstacles or anything? We're just gonna flap around? I guess so. That's, oh, no, missed that one. Why put them on the ground if we're in a plane, though? That seems stupid. Yeah, there you go, Fetty Bear. No, I think not Can we get out of that? Yeah, beautiful. Alright, um, so we've done the diner. Gotta figure out where the... Um, that was back to the bridge. Gas station. Go get ready for work? Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks for coming along. Oh. Okay, so there's another little bit here. I think this is the apartments. Alright, so what do we want? Level 1, building A. Let's, let's go to a different one and see what happens. Because I think there'll be some weird characters in these other areas. Oh, that, you certainly are weird. Probably not the safest thing to do. Oh, he doesn't want to tell us where to go? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh. Um. Oh, that's a cute little thing. It's the moon bubble apartment. Moon bubble. Oh no, someone's punched a hole in the moon. Right, well, we'll try apartment one level A, like that one of the two. Hello. What is it? I'm looking for Robbie Radar and some rocket fuel. Sorry, dearie. He left a net a second ago. But I know where he went. He went to the second floor. Apartment B. Okay. Why don't you take these directions? <laughs> oh, that's not, oh, you got the little flash to say, yeah, that your direction's been updated. Okay. The level two apartment B. Up we go. Hello. Ah. Can I help you? I'm looking for Robbie Radar and some rocket fuel. I see. Hey, Sorry boy. to say it, but Doing he some just licks. left. Do you know where hey. I can find him? I do. He went to the third floor. Better. Apartment C. Here. Oh, so Take just another direction. diagonal. Okay. Third floor apartment C. I'm surprised I'm remembering these. Cause, like, you know me, my, my memory is just short term as all hell. No, my short-term memory is terrible, I should say. I'm Robbie Radar. Can oh. I help you? Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. I need some rocket fuel for the spaceship. So 
I can get back to Earth. Well, I just happen to have some rocket fuel. You're welcome to it if you'd like some. I sure would, Mr. Radar. It's back at the gas station. I'll meet you there. This, is it just me or did he sound a little bit like um, Jimmy Stewart? Hi, Robbie. Hi again, but what? Here's your rocket fuel. And you're just gonna give us a yeah, sure. That's that's gonna get us back. This just is one Jared cans worth. Now I have my rocket fuel. I'm glad to be of service, little fella. Any old time. Yeah. Okay. He's just like, bye. Get out of my life. All right. So we got fuel. Um, yeah. There seem to be more stuff this way. Have a good night, mate. See you Tuesday. Yeah. See you then, anchor. Um. Let's let's go and play with this whatever it is. Is this ah? Oh. oh, play some basketball, I guess. Um, okay. Can I try? Oh, <laughs> get dunked on, kids! Wow. Okay, we can move around a little bit. Oh, I was hoping we could do like a mad dunk or something. I guess not. Oh, you missed that one. Ah, uh, you're terrible, pot pot. So what's the point of getting on here then? We... No, I was hoping we'd do a mad dunk. Oh, well. I have to do something later. What was over here though? What was this one? Oh no, that was the springs. Okay. I thought there was something else with like mushrooms or something. Anyway. Um, oh, this looks different. The hell is this joint? Hello. Excuse me. Welcome to Buzz and Glow's do-it-yourself beauty shop. Want a new look? No thanks. But that's a great machine. Can I watch? You can do better than that, honey. You can give us a hand. I'm sure our customers would love it. Thanks. Oh, okay. Have to spray people with beauty products, I guess. Yeah, right, eh? Okay. Um, let's see what this involves. Ah, that's terrifying. Let's get rid of that immediately. Um, we can be fatty bear if we like. Just well, that's wow. That's that's the default thing though. The most terrifying thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Bye. Um, let's let's leave here very quickly. That's oh my god, that's wow, that's that's terrifying. Um Is there anything else exciting this side? No, okay. Let's let's just leave this well alone. That's oh Okay. Yes, good plan, Papa. Let's just leave. Let's then this way though. Oh <laughs> speaking of Jetsons They've stolen the Jetsons car. Or it will be my car once I hook up with Jane. Oh. Okay. It's a little weird. Hi, Rover, what's up? The steering wheel, that's what, but I can't reach it. Hey, maybe we could work together. If you hold me up, maybe I could get it. Oh, this sounds terribly dangerous. One, two, three. I have seen this set up before, like, um... People have done this with like you get a larger forklift to pick a, a smaller one, and then another one to pick up a smaller one. Oh really? Um, maybe. If, can't reach it. Can we just chuck Pep up there to grab it? Ah, there we go. Poor old bloody Pep though. He's probably shitting himself. Good work, boy. All right, we have a steering wheel then. Beautiful. Thanks, Bob. We got the steering wheel, and we all did it together. <laughs> Yay, team life. Bye. Oh yeah, we're gonna take him back with us, aren't we? Either that, or uh, we're gonna eject him into space. Okay, let's 
There's so many scary things in this game. Um, what was this one? The observatory, you say? Oh, is this, this is full of balls. Crusty jugglers beneath the surface of the moon as well. Okay. Let's get away from that. Um, so it's what do we... The solar system. It certainly is. The sixth planet in our solar oh, system God. is Saturn. It has 17 moons. <laughs> what do I expect from a fucking observatory? It's beautiful. I wonder what the rings are made of. Ice, rock, and dust. Mm -hmm. No, show us... Show us the one you want. I, I know you want me to look at this the one. The eighth planet in our solar system is Neptune. Oh, no. greenish blue and has eight moons. That's not the one I want. I think this is the one I want. Uranus is the seventh planet in our solar yep. system. Yep. It has 11 rings and 15 moons. <laughs> hey, can I pull <laughs> that? it had five. rings. <laughs> That's how you find out someone's age. Count the rings of Uranus. Um, yeah, right. Let's let's have a look through the telescope then. Oh, we're gonna learn about oh, some um, the, the constellations as well. Okay. Yes, the Pegasus. Oh, do we get any other ones? Um, oh, I see this. Yep. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Are we gonna get another jump, Sarah? If I keep looking through this thing. It's just the governor and his, like, wheel balls pressed up against the telescope. Who's that meant to be? Perseus or something? Cassiopeia the Queen. Oh, Cassiopeia. Yeah. beautiful. Um... Yeah, okay. Oh, there's Orion. Look, Orion the Hunter. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I swing it through. Yeah, all right. Fun little time at the observatory, I guess. Um, so we got our steering wheel. What do we got left? All the rest of the rocket bits. So probably, probably this way. Let's go for a look. Uh, more holes. Would you like to play alien tag? Uh yeah, I suppose. Sure. I, I have to win some moon crystals, don't I? Uh, <laughs> just molest all these aliens. Okay. They're certainly molesting some aliens. Giving them a poke. Boop. Boop. Um. Oh! That was. Well, that was terrifying. Ah! I nearly missed that one. He just kind of jumped up in the air a little bit. It's like, ah, it's red there. Game over. You won all five glowing moon crystals. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Just One. dig around in my space pants for them. Two. Are you going to count them off, really? Three. Bit of a Four. squelchy noise when he does that, too. Five. Enjoy your glowing moon crystals. Bye bye. All right. I guess we got to play one more round. Want to play alien tag again? Yep. Yes. Try and get us. Now I gotta figure out. Oh, I suppose we could finish. Um, maybe we we'll do a space marine on Tuesday because I forgot I gotta finish that. I've got like a little pile of shame of uh, modern games I wanted to get through through the week, but yeah, I just usually can't be fucked because I'm tired from work. But yeah, no, we'll have a we'll have a crack at that. Space marines. Have, what else have I got there? Orion the Blind Forest, uh, Tomb Raider remake. Yeah, I got a bit of everything there. Game over. You won all five glowing moon crystals. Yeah, beautiful. One. Two. It sounds like he's sifting through a paper bag or three. something. Maybe he's wearing paper bag pants Four. or something. I don't know. Five. Enjoy your glowing moon crystals. Bye bye. <laughs> I have enough glowing moon crystals to buy the rocket ship. Yeah, beautiful. Alright, we'll, we'll go grab that in a second. I think... Oops. Didn't really need much. Oh no, we gotta do a good deed Maybe or something, don't we? Maybe I should try playing we? that back. Oh. The gate is opening! Oh yeah, just Simon. Okay. And squeak! Well, 
world's easiest Simon puzzle so far, jeez. Yep. Now I can go through the gate. Oh, I wanted to see what was in the mailbox, eh? Ah, uh, so who's this fella? Just... Oh, it's... My name's Putt Putt. I'm from Cartown on the planet Earth. Hello, little one. I am the man in the moon. I'm looking for some okay. rocket ship. I love that I song that R.E.M. sings about you. For something. I've wanted a picture of myself for 10,000 years. Oh, um... I'm looking for something for the rocket ship. I know what it's like to be looking for something. I've wanted a picture of myself for 10,000 years. It's... Okay, so it's not in the modern day, because you can't just take a selfie. Okay. Oh, it's, um... Ooh, is Genie from I Dream of Genie in one of these? Yep. If you're gonna get a Genie, kids, make sure you get a hot one, like Barbara Eden. Mmm. Alright, have a have a picture of yourself then. Good, you Man, you narcissistic motherfucker. Oh, it's a picture of me. I look just as I had imagined. Thank you. Here, take the nose cone, little one. It's yours. <laughs> I haven't hey. talked to anyone since George Bailey made that movie That's about the me. Nose cone of the rocket. May I have it, please? It's yours. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. That was a bit of a tight fit though, Pot Pot. Um, oh, is there anything? No, nothing fun in the chest. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. And the little dog laughed. Ha ha ha, the season squirt. Ah, <laughs> gigantic <laughs> dish in the spoon though. Ugh, all right. No, it's not going to let me out of here, is it? I had to just, no, let's, let's leave. Let's get off this terrifying landscape, Pot Pot. Well, look at that music now, though. Not quite MIDI audio, is it? It's definitely very synthy, though. I like it. Um, so we... No, we did the apartments. I think all we had to, left to get was... No, we had to do a good deed of some sort. Um... I'm trying to remember, we go for that we got to see Governor Dragon Balls after we've done some sort of good deed. Maybe if we go... Can we go back to the, um... Yeah, we can go back to this bridge. Okay. Oh, no. Guess we'll, guess we'll save this weird-looking fella. Um, you okay? Oh, my. You've fallen in the <laughs> the moon goo. Okay. Ah. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. You did your good deed for today. I like doing good deeds. Well, see you. Kids shouldn't have to be reminded they've done a good deed, though. They should just be hardwired to do them. Kids these days, though. Um, alright, so I guess we see... You know... I <laughs> like that. That's his canonical name now, just Governor Dragon Balls. Oh, yeah, we gotta get the key, don't we? Hello, hello. That's what we Anything had to get from this guy. I saved the alien from the moon goo. Con yeah, we could have just lied and told him that, too. Here, you may choose a key. Okay, so which key do we need? I wonder which one I should choose. Uh, I think this one was the one on the I guess blueprint. I'll take this one. It seems right. Okay. All right. So all we gotta get is the rocket body, I suppose. Oh, there's um Rover. He's ready to go. Okay. I guess we can hand in our moon crystals and build the rocket. I'm ready to go when you are, Pup Pup. It shouldn't be long now. It looks like I have everything I need. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're buying the rocket body from these guys. This is this is gonna set you up for life, though. I have like... enough glowing moon crystals to buy the rocket ship. Okay. Thanks. It looks like I have everything I need. Yeah, it does seem that way. All right. Goodbye. It's been real. <laughs> okay. Wow! I 
guess I bought myself a rocket ship. It looks like I have everything I need. <laughs> All you had to do to get the money to buy a rocket ship was just molest some aliens. Yeah, sure. Right, cool. At least you get to assemble this uh, manually. Oh, we gotta. Oh, we put the rest of the stuff inside, I guess. Okay. Right, so we got a little spot for the field. Dump that in. Um, yeah, I guess I didn't we... spill a drop. Good. Good to know. Maybe I should use the key to start the rocket ship. Maybe I should... No? Okay. I guess that's it. I guess that's what, what we, can, we can do. Here we go! Huh. Okay. Alright. Oh, we're going just back to the Earth and rack up time. Yeah, sure. Yeah, save some of that fuel for reverse thrust. Ah, shit. Yup. Yeah, you're all dead now. I've done this many a time in Kabul. Oh, we got a crowd gathering? Okay. Yeah, righto. Oh, that poor rocket, though. Hey, Pud, you're back. We were worried about you, little fella. I hope you're all right. Oh, I'm just fine. I had quite a day. And the best part was, I brought home a new friend. The name's Rover. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're going to pan up to the moon, and he's going to give us a big wink. Here we go. That's... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Didn't even know. We can just jab him in the eye again. Oh, we can just keep poking him in the eye. Okay. Yeah, Ron Gilbert. Yeah, looking forward to um, Return to Monkey Island, dude. This should be... Um, it should be good. And they did get, um, what was it, Dominic Armado back as uh, Guybrush, too. So, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Alright. Um, I, I was going to check out music because we might have gotten. I, I can't remember if Jeremy Soul did this one or not. Just keep. Oh, no, the fat man. So, the guy that did the music for the seventh guest. Oh, and you've actually got actual people on the um, instruments? No, that's cool. Chris O'Connell? Isn't that... Isn't that the guy from Audio Slave? Really? Probably not, but still. <laughs> weird. Oh, no, it wasn't Chris O'Connell. It was Chris Cornell that was in Audio Slave and Soundgarden, wasn't it? I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Death Sandals. 